Introduction After shelling the peas, Neha had stored them in the refrigerator. After some days, she saw that the peas had sprouted. She carried some to her science teacher and asked for the reason. Her teacher explained the reason to the entire class. This is what she explained. In this lesson, you will learn about plant reproduction and seeds dispersal. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Discuss how plants reproduce List the different ways by which Seeds are spread. Reproduction in plants. Seeds play an important role in the reproduction of flowering plants. Seeds vary in shape, color and size. Parts of a seed. A seed has the following parts. Seed coat in the outer covering of the seed. It protects the internal parts. Seed leaves or Cotyledons are present inside the seed. Embryo or baby plant is present inside the seeds which develops into a new plant. A plant with one cotyledon is known as a monocotyledon or monocot. Grass and corn seed are monocots. A plant with two cotyledons is known as a dicotyledon or dicot. Bean seed are dicots. Germination The process of growth of embryo plant inside the seed is known as germination. A seed requires proper amount of air, sunlight, temperature and water to grow into a seedling. As the embryo starts to develop the seed coat, breaks open and a root or a radical emerges. The radical is followed by the shoot or plumule, which gives rise to the leaves and stem. Seed Dispersal The process of scattering of seeds is called seed dispersal. Seeds are dispersed in various ways to form new plants. Wind Dispersal Seeds that are very light in weight are carried away from the parent plant by the wind. These include orchid and poppy seeds. Water dispersal. Seeds that are hollow and filled with air get carried away by water. These include coconut and palm seeds. Animal dispersal. Fruits form a part of diet of some animals while only the pulp of the fruit is digested. The seeds get passed out of the digestive system and are thus dispersed. Explosions. Some plants such as broom, peas, and beans have pods that explode as they ripen. This helps to scatter the seeds. Human Dispersal Human eats various fruits and vegetables and throw their seeds after eating. These seeds, when get adequate condition of germination, grow to become plants. In this way, humans help in seed dispersal. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Seeds play an important role in the reproduction of flowering plants. The process of growth of the embryo plant inside the seed is known as germination. A seed requires proper amount of air, sunlight, temperature and water to grow into a seedling. Different ways of seed dispersal are wine dispersal, water dispersal, animal dispersal, explosions, human dispersal, etc. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more. Download iPrep and learn unlimited.